Greetings folks, my latest project is to put a uh, Sirius Air 3 iNav on a Texumo wing to get some uh, autopilot action on a, on a little wing. Now this version of the uh, Air 3 board is a stripped down version, it's, had, it's been de-pinned or it hasn't had the pins put on it, it's uh, not in the case. It's connected to an X4R receiver which has also been de-pinned so uh, just the, the minimal sort of form factor possible and I've gouged that out and sunk it down into the surface of the wing. So here's a close up of the board you can see how sort of minimal and flat it is. I'll just pull it out there uh, hardly anything to it. There's the S-Bus connection going through to the X4R receiver. I've directly soldered on the servo connections which go through to the bottom uh, and this taught me that I need to get myself a finer tipped soldering iron to be able to do that nicely pretty ugly but uh, it works okay GPS plugged in there and the GPS is buried in the wing over here all nice and slick nothing sitting up above the surface now I need to fix that in a little bit more securely and nice and level all of these components are available from multiweecopter.com and I'm also using the awesome uh, Carbon Bird KST 12 gram servos fast Coreless digital servos for the Elevons. I'll just show you how I set it up in iNav briefly. All right, it's connected. That's good. Uh, connect. Yeah, connected there. It's working well. Got the plane set up as level as I can. First thing. I did, of course, was uh, do a dump of the CLI, save all of that. Now, I, I've already done that for the original setup, of course, configuration, and I picked fixed wing there. was originally set to aeroplane, but this is a fixed wing, uh, the flying wing, so uh, that's what we have to do. No programming, you just have uh, Alon channel 1, elevator channel 2, throttle channel 3, and then all of the uh, mode switches. So we select flying wing there. I've done a little bit of board alignment here uh, because I've had a fly and it was flying a bit nose down so hopefully this is the equivalent of tilting that board down a little bit. Um, I'll have to fly it and check that that's right. Fail safe. Return to home. Advanced tuning. Return to home altitude mode is fixed at 50 meters. Radius is 30 meters. Cruise throttle I've set to 1600 because it was down at 1400 and that was just too slow. Although now I've put a bigger motor on it and a bigger prop, so that's not going to be such a problem. Modes I have are arm on one switch, angle and horizon mode on another switch. I've got air mode activated the whole time. I've, got, I've now got a heading hold on a switch and a alt hold on the same switch so I can just flick that switch and it'll fly level and straight. Ooh, it's windy. Uh, on the same switch I've got return to home. On another switch I have a pass through mode and the launch mode. Save that. That's about it for the moment. Ready to fly it. Disconnect. Alright, so here's the souped up tech sumo. Uh, I've scooped out the entry to the prop for a little bit clearer airflow. Bigger motor, bigger prop, should have way more grunt. I'm going to try the altitude and heading hold. Manual mode. We've got plenty of grunt, that's great. Just trimming it out using pass-through mode. Horizon mode. Still going nose down. A bit less. Just needs a bit more tilting of the board maybe. I've got my laptop so I'll do that. Let's make a few adjustments. I need to tilt the board more, drop the cruise throttle, I'll probably use a smaller prop too I think. Very good.
horizon mode. It's going up a bit now. It's not bad. Angle mode. Nobody wants to do anything. Bye bye plane. Turn to launch. Do a big long run straight down the guts. So that's altitude and heading hold, that'll just fly straight and level for as long as the battery lasts. And I'll bring it home. About to lose it behind the trees. I'll just turn to launch. Can't see it anymore. Here it comes. <laughs> this is so so radical. <laughs> so it's all working very nicely now. I really like the uh, altitude and heading hold setting. Uh, it will just flick that switch and it will just keep on flying at the same altitude and the same heading for as long as you want. You can fly it beyond line of sight if, you, if you're brave. Click return to home and it comes back to you. I may have too big a prop on at the moment. I think it's a 9x6, maybe need a 9x4 or something like that. I think it's motor's getting a bit hot, sucking a bit too much current, flying beautifully.